Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. Now what we have here, which is x minus 1, r raised to power 6, equals to 4 raised to power 6. We take 4 raised to power 6 to the left hand side. That is, we have x minus 1, r raised to power 6, minus 4 raised to power 6, equals to 0 here. That is, we can write this as x minus 1 all is to power 3 then all is to power 2 minus also we have 4 raised to power 3 all is to power 2 as 2 times 3 here give us 6 then equals to 0 here then this follows so we have a square minus b square which is the same thing as a plus b into bracket open bracket a minus b at this here a standing as x minus 1 all raised to power 3 and b standing as 4 raised to power 3 then what we have here becomes x minus 1 all raised to power 3 plus 4 raised to power 3 into brackets also open brackets x minus 1 all raised to power 3 minus 4 raised to power 3 close brackets equals to 0 here then we have two possible cases here. The first one, x minus 1, all raised to power 3, plus 4 raised to power 3, equals to 0. Or we have x minus 1, all raised to power 3, minus 4 raised to power 3, equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is equals to a plus b into brackets open bracket a square minus a b plus b squared that is yeah all we have becomes x minus one plus four into brackets open bracket x minus one square minus four times x minus one then plus four square close bracket equals to zero here then this becomes x plus 3 into brackets, open bracket. Expansion here gives us x squared minus 2x plus 1. A minus 4 points this bracket, we have minus 4x plus 4. Then plus 4 squared, which is 16, close brackets, equals to 0 here. That is, here we have x plus 3 into brackets open bracket this gives us x squared minus 2x minus 4x that's minus 6x then 4 plus 16 20 plus 1 that's plus 21 close bracket equals to 0 here at this here we have two possible cases first one x plus 3 equals to 0 or we have x squared minus 6x plus 21 equals to 0 here then solving on this side this follows this become x equals to minus 3 which is a real solution here and here we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to 1 b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 21 applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a then here we have x equals to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 21 over 2 times 1 then here we have x equals to minus times minus that's plus that's 6 plus or minus square root of Minus c square that's 36, then minus 4 times 1, times 21, that gives us 84 over 2. That is, next step we have x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 84, that's minus 48, then over 2, which also 
I write as x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 16 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. That is, when we separate this with 16, that's 4, we take it out. And we have x equals to 6 plus or minus 4. We have root 3. Then root minus 1 is i over 2, which implies yeah, 2 is common. We have x equals to 2 into bracket 3 plus or minus 2 root 3i over 2 here. And 2 here cancelled each other. This gives us x equals to 3 plus or minus 2 root 3i. And this here we have two complex solutions here. Then Solving from the second case here, yeah, this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, the same thing as a minus b into bracket, open bracket, a square plus a b plus b square. And this, what we have here becomes x minus 1 minus 4 into bracket, then open bracket, x minus 1 squared plus 4 times x minus 1, then plus 4 squared, plus bracket, equals to 0 here. Then, here, we have x minus 5 into brackets, then open bracket. Also, the expansion here becomes x squared minus 2x plus 1. For open this bracket, we have plus 4x and minus 4 then plus 4 square that's 16 plus bracket equals to 0 here that is here we have x minus 5 into bracket open bracket x square minus 2x plus 4x that's plus 2x then 16 minus 4 that's 12 then plus 1 that's plus 13 plus bracket equals to zero here also you have two possible cases the first one x minus five equals to zero or we have x square plus two x plus thirteen equals to zero here and here this gives us x equals to five which is a resolution here and here we have a quadratic equation where here equals to one b equals to 2 and c equals to 13. Also, applying the quadratic formula, we have x now equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 13 over 2 times 1. That is, here we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared, that's 4 minus 4 times 1 times 13, it was 52 over 2, which implies we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 52, we have minus 48 over 2. Then, then, here yeah, also, you can write this as x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 times 3 times minus 1 over 2, which implies we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus root 16, that's 4. Take it out. And we have root 3, root minus 1 is i over 2. Then here we have x equals to 2 is common here. We have 2 into brackets, minus 1 plus or minus. Here we have 2 root 3. I, then over 2 here. Yet 2 cancelled each other. And we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 3i. Also, here we have two complex solutions. And therefore, all together here, we have six solutions in this problem. Two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. and thank you for watching don't forget this tip subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell and share this video with your comments 
See you next class and bye for now.